Hey guys, Roku here back with another League of Legends guide video. I'm about to finish my unrank to Masters challenge, the accounts in the Masters promos, so in a day or two I should have the rank. I'm also, you know, experienced as a coach with, you know, years of experience, so combining all this knowledge, I'm able to tell you guys what to do in order to climb out of every single rank from Iron to Diamond. So let's just get right into it. First off, how to climb out of iron or bronze. I coupled these two ranks together because they kind of need the same-ish tips. And the general idea when you're stuck in iron or bronze is just simply lack of experience. You don't know the game enough. You don't play it enough. You, you're kind of afraid of ranked. It's just things like these that hold bronze players back and even iron players to an extent. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that your computer and or internet are good enough to play League of Legends. There's a lot of players who play on like, you know, laptops or whatever, and they play on Wi-Fi, and they tend to have really horrifying FPS and ping numbers, which, you know, just makes it so that they actually can't play the game properly or even improve at all. So my recommendation is, first off, Make sure your settings are in order to the lowest, get as many frames as possible, close all your background applications, make sure to get as much performance out of your rig as possible. In terms of the internet issue, make sure you're playing on the closest League of Legends server and, you know, just, you know, try to stay close to your Wi-Fi, use an Ethernet cable if necessary, stuff like that. Next, play more solo queue games. There's a ton of players, even some that I coach who play normal games and think that that somehow is enough to get good at this game, and it isn't, okay? You have to play solo queue games to get good at this game. So just force yourself to play solo queue matches, just, you know, just queue up no matter what. Eventually you get over your rank anxiety, and if you actually play solo queue games and get tested by players who are on the same level as you, you'll eventually get refined enough to just, you know, climb out of iron and bronze over to silver, you know? Honestly, if you just play the game more, you can climb out of super low elo. As a further tip, you should stick to a single role and a few champions. Don't be like a, a person who constantly skips their own roles and champions. Find something that you think is cool and just stay on it, you know? You need to make sure that you have familiar territory in the game so that you can actually get good at the game itself and not just, you know, skip from champion to champion, oh, what's this button do? You know, don't do that. Just get used to a champion. Copy builds of high rank players, but like don't change anything in the runes or, you know, the builds. Just straight up copy them from high ranking players. And as a last tip, try to play more aggressive champions. So it's like, try to play champions that either do damage or are tanks, but they also do damage. Just something that does damage or something that does well with kills, be aggressive. Aggressive players climb faster. So yeah, just be more aggressive. Anyway, I think that is pretty much it for all the tips for iron and bronze. Let's get to an actual rank that a lot of people have a lot of trouble climbing through. Silver. The main issues with the silver rank is that the super basics of the game are grasped, but people don't know what to like exactly focus on, what to improve at specifically, so they waste like a ton of time. So let's just get started. First off, you need to begin learning about the abilities of champions, okay? You can't fight champions without understanding what they do. So make sure that you actually just, you know, try to look at the abilities of champions and see, okay, that 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 skill shot's a stun, that one's a slow, you know, this one does this much, this much damage. Just try to understand the abilities of champions and how to play around them, okay? Make sure you get good at the specific mechanics of at least one champion, okay? Like their combos, how they go for kills, how they lane, etc. You have to get comfortable with the game. And the only way to do that is to grab, like, to get good at your main, basically. You don't have to be excellent at them, but you just have to understand, like, you know, how to play them to the most basic degree because you really have to start absorbing the rest of the game here, okay? So just get really good at your champion and then start absorbing how the game interacts with your champion. Learn the game through your champion, you know? More champions is better because you're more healthy as a soul queue player, but the fastest way to improve is just one trick. Next, keep copying runes and items, but, you know, make small adjustments here and there. What do I mean by this? Like before, you're going to copy builds from high elo players, but instead of just, you know, copying them, like, you know, and just doing them one-to-one, -one, you're going to learn how to make small adjustments, okay? So 
specific boots are better against, better against specific lanes, you know. Maybe I should change Legend Alacrity to Legend Tenacity for this matchup, you know. Just make sure you can understand how to make these tiny changes, you know. Oh, we're up against Vladimir, I should get Executioners, like, just in your build, okay. Just get used to, like, making these small changes here and there. Try to start improving your role-specific skills. So, like, each role has, like, their own specific skills, so, you know. Like, for top lane, it's matchups and wave control, so you gotta get good at fighting people and trading and killing with your own specific champion, and you gotta at least start grasping wave control and how minions interact with you and the enemy. I have guides on all these stuff, so you can just look them up. Next, get better at farming. This one is a huge tip, okay? If you clean up your farming, you're gonna get good at basically, like, all of the game, okay? So just get good at farming and make sure you get enough farm to scale into the mid to late game because like you know if you're playing a champion that does well with farm then you're gonna like do do very well off of just learning how to farm better and even if you are playing an early game champion mastering csing is gonna make sure you have like as big a lead as possible as you bash into the enemy and you know stomp them Try to understand that there's more to this game than just kills, okay? There's more to this game than just fighting the enemy or just team fights. Just This game isn't two teams just bashing against each other, okay? This game is two teams dropped on a map, and they have to gather as many objectives as possible and then beat the other team, okay? This game is more about collecting what's on the map than just killing the enemy, okay? What, what do I mean by this, okay? TLDR... Do your objectives. Pay attention to Baron. Pay attention to Dragon. Take turrets when possible. Do your objectives. This is even more important now that objective bounties are a thing. So yeah, pay attention to and destroy objectives in order to like, you know, like speed up the ending of the game. This is especially important in Silver because um, players tend to throw games a lot. So if you're playing an early game champion, sure, getting a ton of kills is great. But make sure you get objectives after those kills so you can actually finish the game. Like, if you kill the enemy jungler, do Baron. Okay, stuff like that. Next, how to climb out of gold. Alright. This is the point where you have to actually start paying attention to the game and working on it. Because you can basically just casually play League of Legends and get to gold without really getting good at it. You can just, you know play specific champions, get good at killing people in lane, or, you know, be really, good at abusing, be really good at abusing this one thing, and you can get to gold without really trying. But gold is the point where you have to, like, sit your ass down and really just get good at the game, okay? Just work on it, right? You have to actually work and study the game to get out of this rank. First off, make sure you know what every single champion does. If you go into a game and a champion surprises you, make sure you learn about them, open up the wiki, whatever, okay? Just learn their abilities. Every single thing that you don't learn is one more thing they can outplay you with, so make sure you know everything, okay? Next, master your champion, okay? All of their combos, all of their mechanics, all of their matchups, how much damage they do, how much damage they take. Master them and understand their limits so that you can just, like, pull off super aggressive plays or just, you know, peel back a bit or, you know, just make sure you know the maximum of what your champion is capable of and try to strive for that maximum whenever you can. Surprise people with how much damage your champion can do, okay? Just get really good at them, especially if they're a more mechanical champion, like a, like a top laner or something, then you have to get really good at them. You have to still copy builds as a gold player, but you have to start understanding why we build specific things, okay? So... Why do we build all these items and they all have health, okay? Why do we build so much health on this champion? Because he scales with health early. Why do we build a lot of resistances? Because this guy already has health. Or, you know, why do we build crit? This person, you know, synergizes with crit, you know? Try to understand why you're taking the specific runes and items that you're taking. The why of it, okay? Not just what to take, the why. And an aside point that's just super important is make sure your copy builds from good players, okay? My um my standards for good is Diamond 2 or above for E West Korea, Masters 100 LP for NA, EU, and E, and Masters 200 LP or higher for smaller regions, so like, you know, all the other regions basically, okay? Excluding China, but I don't think we get access to the Chinese server's data as easily. But that's a side point. There are a lot of people who make it their entire, like, careers to just make troll builds and post them on YouTube. And I've been a culprit of this sometimes, too. 
And all I'm saying is like, don't copy those builds, okay? Just don't. Copy the ones that high elo players tell you to build every single time, okay? And then try to understand their explanations for why they build them, okay? So for Darius, my guides, and I, you know, pretty much explain all of these in the comments and whatever. So yeah, okay? Just build the meta stuff. There is no super sick, awesome build that'll make you crush games. This game, to get better at this game, you have to sit your ass down and improve at it, okay? So, yeah, understand why we take certain items and certain stats on certain champions. Next, you have to start being aware of just what's outside of your, like, um, vision, okay? Aware of the map, aware of your teammates, aware of your vision, okay? A lot of players just don't look at the map, so they die constantly or, you know... A fight's happening and they don't even know that it's happening. So it's like you have to start looking at your map and pay specific attention to vision, okay? Clear your vision so, you know, your jungler can gank or, you know, if you yourself are going for a gank, try to make sure you have sweeper or something to make sure just, you know, you aren't seen properly, all right? Actively consider weight, like vision in your gameplay and your macro decisions. Speaking of macro decisions, start to clean up like the common super bad macro mistakes that, you know, you keep making, okay? Rotate through the fights that you can get to in time. Don't just perma group and walk around the map like, you know, like like goons, you know, just, you know, make sure to get some side lane CS because a lot of champions in the game, like top laners, mid laners, ADCs, need CS to keep up with the enemy team, okay? Don't just perma fight. CS and then fight. <laughs> Make sure to take some objectives after winning team fights, and also this is a big, big, big like macro mistake. Give up lost objectives. Say um, it's you guys are three, and your two teammates died, and the five enemies are pushing down mid lane to get your inhibitor, and in twenty seconds your two teammates will spawn. Instead of protecting the inhibitor, just fall back to your nexus turrets. Because if you guys protect the inhibitor, that's a risk because you guys can fight them off or you guys can also just die too. And if you guys die, then the game's just over. They can just walk to your base and end it. But if you wait for your teammates to spawn, they're fresh out of the base, they're strong, then you can 5v5 properly challenge them, okay? Same thing, right? Don't just die for a lost baron. Don't die for a lost dragon. Don't die for a turret that's gone, okay? If you see that, you know, um, you're low HP and the jungler is coming top with the herald, then just leave, okay? Don't die for this objective. So, yeah, that's how to get out of the gold. Platinum. I would say this is where the game starts being really complicated. First off, get objectives and start closing out games ASAP, okay? By this point, you're probably getting kind of good at getting early leads, but you're, you are you might be just horrible at finishing out games. And the way to finish out games is win teamfights, get objectives, okay? Teamfight, objective, teamfight, objective, okay? Get Baron, learn how to siege turrets, because turrets are objectives too, okay? Take inhibitors, don't take them too early before Baron. Just play the game around objectives, not kills, not CS, objectives, okay? All of these kills, CS, roaming, jungle, jungle guys, whatever, it's all leading up to objectives. The game is about objectives, okay? Just understand how important objectives are. Keep it in your head, okay? Everything's a secondary to objectives, okay? Because objectives are so powerful that you can't help but just ignore them, okay? If they're there, take them, okay? But don't, like, die for them, basically, okay? But still, if you win a team fight, don't just run around like goons. Take an objective. If you, you know, try to take Baron when you can, right? This is a big, big thing. A lot of players in Platinum don't know when to go for Baron, okay? So if you kill the enemy jungler and your team is stronger in a 5v5 than the enemy, they don't have a lot of control mages that can make Baron a bit difficult to take, then go do Baron. Ping your team, just go to it, start hitting it, force your team to do Baron, okay? Sometimes you have to be like your team's leader in a way. Next, don't overstay and grief games. This is such a huge mistake for Platinum players and players in low diamond actually, where... Like, you guys remember the in the previous slide I talked about how, you know, you wait for your teammates to spawn and then you fight them? In this situation, the attacking team should just back off. And this is the mistake that you can make or probably do make. Where instead of just taking the inhibitor and backing off, you take the inhibitor and you keep sieging. Okay, you just keep sieging. And if you do this, you've basically overstayed too much. And you can just die in the enemy base and throw your early game lead completely. And God forbid they have like a, 
you know, a Jinx or a Kog'Maw or something, because then the game is just over, okay? Don't overstay. Make sure you to, to take whatever objective you can and back off. Take what you can and back off. Don't greet for plates. Don't greet for turrets or whatever. Just know what you can get and back off. I said this multiple times, but it's always better to um, lose less than to win more. League of Legends is very comeback oriented, okay? So if you guys have won three team fights to get your lead, the enemy team can come back in one team fight because of bounties and because of how the game works. The game is very comeback oriented. So make sure that if you have a lead, play it safe, okay? Just just take what you can get and back off because like if the game if the enemy team gives you one inhib, you can just back off and siege the other turret. And because that inhib's pushed in, they need someone to clear that. And that's just a free turret that you're getting without even like having to get kills, okay? Just understand that you don't need to die for objectives. Just just reduce your deaths for like, you know, don't be greedy, essentially. That's what I was going to say. Okay, so um, start thinking about your teammates in terms of what they bring to the table, okay? A lot of Platinum players, like, even in my coaching sessions, have zero concept of where their teammates are and what they're doing, okay? They just don't even care about them. And that's super wrong, because if you can account for your teammates' locations, their damage, their CC, their, you know, they can shield you or whatever, then you can make way better plays and way better decisions, okay? You have to play with your teammates, play around your teammates, okay? Use their damage. If you, so you're playing Darius and you have to get an ult tree sent, wait for your teammates to hit the enemy and then ult, okay? Just work around your teammates. That's what I'm saying, okay? Obviously, champion knowledge helps here, so get good at that too. Just learn about champions even better. Next, make sure you're getting really good at macro and wave management, okay? This is huge, especially for top lane, but the macro roamy part is huge for all roles, okay? Make sure you look at the map, you understand macro, you understand how teams kind of group and roam around the map so that you can better make decisions. Make sure that your CS is on point okay practice your cs just make sure that your cs is pretty good okay for your champion anyway next rework your mentality okay this is a huge 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 thing okay this is the biggest tip here because if you go into platinum with a bad mental you're gonna waste like a ton of time all right so like obviously like, a bad mental is even worse for Diamond, but if you can fix your mental while you're in Platinum, you're saving yourself so much time in the future and so much, like, just stress in the future, okay? First off, drop your ego. Never have an ego, okay? Just, just, you're there to learn the game, okay? You're there to improve at the game. You're not there to prove you're the better top laner. You're not there to, you know, be the king of your lane. You're not there to, you know, rule the jungle. You're there to get good at this computer game. Okay, you're not there to prove yourself. You're not there to do anything. You're just there to absorb information and practice. Okay, drop your damn ego. It's such a bad thing because if you have an ego, it's going to stop you from witnessing just like mistakes that are so obvious. Had you just not had that ego? Okay, you're going to start blaming things. And, you know, just that's just it's just kind of gross. So drop your ego. If you're a tilter and that you type a lot, meet your team chat meet your all chat if someone starts pinging and the pings tilt you mute their pings okay it's like it's important to communicate with your team but if they're just you know dickheads then just you know mute them okay lastly stay off of autopilot make sure you're focused at all times in the game next start communicating with your team through pings i mentioned this slightly a few seconds ago but you really started you really got to start communicating with your team like hey your jungler is coming i can't fight this gang you're up against a bad lane, like a vein top, I'm not going to have Pryo to help you in topside crab, okay? Just make sure that you communicate necessary things with your team, okay? Type to them or whatever. Just like, <laughs> like mute, the like in-game chat, mute everyone and then type in-game, okay? Whatever, right? But mostly use your pings, right? Make sure you communicate with your team through your pings so that you can actually just like plan plays better, basically, okay? This is the point where you have to start learning about not just the abilities of champions, but also their behaviors, okay? You have to start understanding, okay, um, Afiora plays this way. Irelia, when she sees all these low HP she's going to go on them and then start it in all in, okay? Just, like, 
Darius, what is he gonna do? He's gonna try to pull the wave to his side of the lane and then just run you down with Ghost, okay? So what do you wanna do? You wanna have a big wave to push into him or you wanna freeze the lane, whatever, okay? Just make sure you understand what kind of fights champions look for, what kind of, how they fight, how they trade, okay? Because if you, like, at this point, the gameplay gets so complex that you're not just in the realm of bashing into them, you're in the realm of outplaying them, okay? So they behave in a certain way, and you know this behavior, then you're gonna be on top of them, okay? Let's say um, a Darius, he presses Q, he has his flash up, and you're low HP. What's he gonna do? He's gonna flash Q onto you, so you gotta flash out. Or if you're aggressive and have balls, flash into him and kill him, okay? Let's say, um, just just learn what champions do. A set, he's gonna walk towards you, try to get an E off with his minions, then, then dash back, dodge his E, then go back and then bash his head in, whatever, right? Just, like, try to understand how champions fight, what kind of, like, you know, all-ins they look for, what kind of trades they look for, and try to outplay them, okay? Start to hone in your mechanics if you're a laner. You don't need to have crazy mechanics as a support. And if you're a jungler, you don't need to have any, like, jungler is harder than support, but still, you know, you're not really that mechanically intensive as jungle champions. But if you're a laner, as in top, mid ADC, make sure your mechanics are on point. Start canceling your auto attack animations. Start getting good at your champions. Start dodging well, okay? You can't be just like a immobile stump that's just taking everything he can, okay? You have to be very fluid. You have to click a lot. You have to just, you know, move a lot, hit a lot. Just be, be way faster, okay? Get better at mechanics. Lastly, understand the jungle role, even if you don't jungle, okay? This is a huge, huge, huge point. But jungler is like... It, jungle is such a massive part of the game because jungle impacts everyone, okay? So if you understand how jungle works, you can both make it harder for the enemy jungle to assert influence and make it easier for your jungler to assert influence, okay? Understand how junglers path, understand how they gank, understand specific jungle champs, okay? Um... Olaf's just gonna walk into lane, so if I take his blast cone and ward his jungle, I'm gonna see him every way, you know? He, he's not gonna, like, sneak a gank off on me, or if, you know, if it's Nunu, I should place a gank, like, a ward in his, like, camp or something, because he's gonna, like, roll a snowball from all the way over there. If it's Evelyn, I need a control ward, because she's invisible. Just understand how specific jungle champions work, move around the map, how strong they are. Okay, I have Pryo here, but I know that the enemy jungler is pathing topside, so instead of backing off, I'm just going to go into their jungle and kill them in their jungle. Okay, just understand how junglers roam, how they path, how they, you know, gank, what kind of champions they play. Okay, the champion-specific part is the key part here, okay? So yeah, this is how to get out of Platinum. Next, Diamond. This is, like, you know, probably the most difficult part because, like... You're gonna need a lot of time to climb out of Diamond, and I'm talking E-West, by the way, okay? If you're in a lower region or like an NA, it's gonna be a bit easier, but if you're in E-West, climbing out of Diamond for the first time, especially in this meta, is gonna be very, very time-consuming, and you're gonna need a lot of patience. So make sure that you keep the good mentality from Platinum, okay? Your mentality should be focused on self-improvement and all the things I covered in the Platinum, you know, slide. So just go back to that and listen to me talk about the mentality portion. Like, it's just the same thing, you know? Lose your ego, just make sure you focus on getting better because Diamond takes so much time to get out of that if you have a bad mentality during it, you can just tragically lose months or like years of time. Like I've seen it, people just years and years and years of just stuck in Diamond and it's like the most tragic thing ever. So just like fix your mentality, focus on self-improvement and lose the ego, okay? Help your jungler as much as you can. Instead of just being aware of your jungler and how they play, like Platinum, you have to actually help them, okay? If you have Pryo, go help them, okay? If you can, go help them from invades, okay? Try to protect them. Try to make sure you give them kills, okay? Just whatever you... Actually, you can also take kills if your champion likes them better, but still just... Don't just leave your junglers to die, okay? Because if the jungler is behind, then the enemy jungler is going to rule the map. You have to help your jungler as much as you can, okay? Just... Like, if you can, just plan your game around your jungler, okay? I'm going to have Pryo here with this wave control technique because I want to work with my jungler. I'm going to freeze it here for a gank for my jungler, okay? Just in your game plans, 
planet around what champion your jungler is playing and how much power they have. Or, you know, if they need to farm up to level 6, okay, I'm going to make sure to hold my wave here so that when I go into my jungler's, you know, jungle to help them out from an invade, I don't lose too much CS, okay? Just play, play like this. Ping good macro decisions to your teammates, okay? There's a lot of indecisiveness in Diamond, okay? And if you yourself have a great macro, it's like you can stay in Diamond for longer than you deserve to because a lot of people, they know the right call, but they just are too indecisive to take it, okay? You have to sometimes be the leader and be like, okay, Baron now, Baron now, okay, go for this now, with this fight, this fight, okay? So hone in your macro and communicate good macro decisions to your teammates, okay? Like, you have to just make sure that, like, you know, you're communicating with your teammates a lot. And at this point, okay, you can have chat enabled because you're actually communicating for the good of the game, okay? If somebody is typing in a reductive manner or, like, you know, just being stupid, just mute them and type to the rest of the team who are actually intelligent. If you start playing good, the guy who's tilted is going to come around anyway, okay? So just communicate with your team and talk about macro decisions and make callouts, okay? Next. You have to stay focused during the entire game and try to absorb all of what's happening on the map. Use your F keys. Use your, you know, just mini map. Make sure your mini map is big enough so you can actually see all the champions, you know. Just absorb all the information that the game gives you, you know. Macro is just guessing, okay. It's just guessing but with, you know, um, with hints. And the map gives us a ton of hints. It tells us where the enemy champions are. If the jungler shows himself, oh, he has 12 CS, then he did this, this, this camp, you know, just, just make sure you're in position to absorb all the information that the map gives you, okay? Next, I, I mentioned this before, but we be really good at how junglers path around the map and, like, you know, just, you gotta just plan your gameplay entirely around it, okay? In this elo, roamers are king, okay? Junglers and supports. If they roam, they're gonna rule the map. So make sure, not just the jungler, but like, make sure you're able to counterplay roams by playing safe, okay? Just keep your eyes on the map, and if someone's roaming, if they're likely to come to you to gank you, then just back up, okay? Just make sure you're able to spot roams and then like, you know, react accordingly, you know? There's a lot of hints that there's that someone's roaming on the map that's super obvious. You just have to be good at telling what they are, okay? At this point, you have to be a master of all wave control techniques, especially if you're a top laner, just completely master them, okay? Be really good at them because if you have bad wave control te like technique then, and the enemy top laner has good wave control technique, then you are doomed. They're gonna destroy you, okay? Same for mid lane, right? If you get like nastily just frozen out as a champion who's a bit immobile, then you're gonna get gonna get ganked and destroyed. Stop playing low tier champions or unviable champions. Don't force champions in roles they don't belong. Okay, this is the point where you're not just gonna be an okay player, you're gonna be a great player. Okay, so if the champion that you're maining is still good in the meta or still playable or still B tier or something, good. Okay, but if you're trying to force like I don't know. AP bar top, then maybe it's time you stop, okay? This is the point that you have to start understanding what the meta is, okay? You have to have a good understanding of the meta, how it is, okay? Make use of your daily dodges. This is so huge. It saves you two losses per day, okay? So if you're one trick and one trick is banned or, you know, um, someone in your team is a known psychopath slash griefer, just something like that, you know? You're forced into a match that you just hate, Use your daily dodges, okay? Watch your own games and try to identify the mistakes you make, okay? This is huge because at this level of the game, especially, you know, this is the case if you're in high diamond, you're not going to have mistakes that are too obvious to the naked eye, you know? So what you have to do is either get a coach or just watch your own games to, like, you know, try to identify the kind of mistakes that you make, okay? So... I died here because of my mechanics, or I died here because of my macro, I died here because of this, because of that, because of this, because of that, you know? Just understand the types of mistakes you make, and try to understand why, you know, um, why you're weak at certain skills. When you're a lower rank player, you know, the issue that you run into when you're watching your own games is that you don't actually know enough about the game to be able to tell what kind of mistakes you make, but... You're diamond, okay? So if you're high diamond, then you basically understand most of the basics of the game, okay? At least. 
So you should be able to tell, okay, this was a mistake due to the fact that I made this kind of, you know, I'm lacking in this kind of knowledge or I was tilted, whatever, okay? Identify your mistakes and move towards solving them. Lastly, understand the limits of all champions. If you're surprised during a game as to how much damage a champion is capable of, then you lack in knowledge, okay? Understand what every single champion is capable of and how they combo things, not just top lane, not just who you're directly fighting, every single champion on the map, okay? If you can kind of just form this constant cycle of improvement and just make sure you understand all the basic fundamentals of the game, then you will be able to get out of Diamond and get to Master. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.